Casey and today I'm going to be talking about my fall nail polish picks. So I have 15 total nail polishes that I have picked out of my collection to say that those I guess were my favorites for what I'm going to be wearing in fall time. And I kind of grouped them up so that they have like trends even though I am not a very trendy person. I'm trying to be. Statement necklaces. Is that still in? I don't know. At least I don't still have my feather hair extension. So starting off, I have two kind of the, my updated version of Oxblood. And last year, Oxblood was the hit color of the season. Maroon, people. I'm sorry. Oxblood was kind of that main color that everything stemmed off of. This year, for me, that color is plum. All of those sort of brightened, purpley fuchsias that are muted down for fall time that makes sense. The first one that I have is Houston We Have a Purple. This is kind of a more red toned, pinkish toned, purple, fuchsia, magenta, plum color. All of those combine those. So I really like this one. This is a color that's easy to transition and that is what I think of when I think of fall time. I think of transitioning between your brights, whites, all those really bright, bold, neon colors that you used in the summertime, transitioning those into your very dark, somber <sighs> colors for winter. I like all of them. Um, no, no judgments here. The other one that I have for the plum colors is a more purple toned one and this is in the cable carpool lane. This was from OPI's most recent collection which was a San Francisco collection which I absolutely loved because it had so many great colors for the fall time and really gave me a lot of inspiration for what colors I needed to be using to stay in relevant times. I don't know. I really like this one because it's different than my normal red pinkish toned color since it is more of a plum toned color and a little bit more purple than Houston we have a purple. As you can see this one's more red this one's more purple. The next color that I have is your actual oxblood color. This is Butter London's La Moss. This I had in my fall getting ready with me tutorial inspired autumn tutorial fall out of summer. I absolutely love this color. This is kind of the epitome of fall for nail polish since it just really is that dark vampy red. And the last two red toned colors that I have are both your more blood red, your more really rich holiday festive reds. The first one is from the OPI San Francisco collection and this is in Lost on Lombard. This is just a pure red cream finish, doesn't have any shimmer in it. The other one that I have is I'm Not Really a Waitress which is a shimmery red that's very festive for Thanksgiving, for Christmas, whatever you celebrate. It's a very holiday festive, rich red color. And that's what I like about both of these is that they're very rich colors. They're very bold and they make a statement. The next one that I have is kind of a mix between your cool tones and your warm tones and it's a more iridescent dark color. I don't really know how to describe this other than it has a lot of different colored iridescence to it. It has kind of an opalescent shine where some of it shines red, some of it shines purple, some of it shines green. Kind of all different colors, but the base of it is a black, so it is really that vampy dark colors. Vampy is how I like to describe a lot of fall colors, so that's that. This one is in Mirror Mirror on the Wall. Once again, this is from the San Francisco by OPI collection, so that is why the name is Mirror Mirror on the Wall. I absolutely love this one. It's a very good transition color since it does have a bunch of different colors in it, but it's still transitioning you into those dark, very neutral colors, I guess. Moving on into my cool tone colors, I have two dark blues. I really like navy blue for the fall time. It's just one of those colors that I really like. So I have two. The first one that I have is a shimmery one, and this is Butter London's Big Smoke. This is my absolute favorite fall time color. No, it's not. All of these are. Like I say that and then I'm thinking of other colors so I can't say that. This is just a really great color for those days that you want to kind of incorporate that winter time into your fall. So it's just a nice kind of dark blue with a little bit of a teal undertone so it still keeps it brightened a little bit for the fall time. I don't know. It's kind of just whatever your mood is. <laughs> this is often my mood. Kind of a brightened blue weird. And then I just have a cream finished blue. This is in Incognito and Sausalito. Just a nice cream finished navy blue. 
Finishing off my cool tones, I have two more blues, and both of these are cream finishes as well. This one is in Keeping Susie at Bay, once again from the San Francisco collection. What can I say? It was my favorite for this year! This is just a really bright blue cream finish, perfect for the transitioning seasons between the neon turquoises that I wore and the dark, dark blues that I'm going to be wearing in winter. Finally, for my cool tones, I have China Glaze's Secret Periwinkle. This is a periwinkle color, but I really like this one because I like to wear light colors on my nails. Sometimes I don't like to look like my nails are as dark as my soul. I like to have them light, so this is kind of a good transition between the baby blues that I would wear. I would, like, I in the summertime, I like to either wear neons or, like, baby pinks, baby blues. This is kind of a good baby blue for the fall time. And finally, for my fall nail polish picks, I have neutrals. So the first ones are nudes. Nudes are huge in the fashion world. On all the runways you see the models with either nude or some other form of neutral nail polish, either taupe, nude, black. So my two favorites for those model-esque nails that they always wear are Orly's Pure Porcelain and Mimosas for Mr. and Mrs. by OPI. Both of these are a touch more pink as opposed to yellow toned since I do have cooler toned skin. I don't really know. I have cool toned skin, I think maybe neutral toned, is that a thing? So I can kind of wear anything, but I find that orangey tones don't work as well on me, so these ones are good because they are a bit more cool toned and a bit more like pink toned. Moving on for neutrals, I have a light baby nude pink. This is I Theodora You. I love this color. This one was actually one of the colors that they did use on the runway for this spring 2014 collections. So if you want to have model-esque nails. This was one that they used in New York Fashion Week a couple weeks ago. So that is why I'm kind of like obsessed with it because I'm like, maybe if I wear this I'll be a model and grow five inches. Whatever. And finally for nail polish picks of the fall time, I have Topes. I have on OPI's Berlin there done that, but another one of my favorites is for by OPI Metro Chic. This one is a touch more purple than this one. This is more of a khaki toned taupe color, but both of them are absolutely gorgeous and a really fun, unique spin on your dark gray nails or black nails. Just my kind of fun spin on those neutral colors. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you leave me a comment down below with what your favorite nail polish colors are for the fall time. I would love to know for serious. Leave me a comment. Let me know what your favorite is. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you all very soon.